All right, y'all, the brothers who were paid by Jesse Smollett to carry out a stage attack are breaking their silence in a new five-part docuseries called Jesse Smollett's Anatomy of a Hoax, presented by Fox Nation. Take a look. We were the ones that did it. Yeah, it was us. Everyone's talking about it. I thought Jesse Smollett's performance when he gave the interview to Robin Roberts was, was masterful. I think he shed a tear. People then retweeted these articles as truth. Nancy Pelosi, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden. Jesse Smollett was attacked in a racist, homophobic attack by members of the MAGA movement. I know that this did not go down how Jesse is saying. And now I have to go down here and talk about a black man who had a noose around his neck and made the whole thing up. I think that he was looking for that civil rights martyrdom. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I've been accused of. This dude crazy, man. <laughs> All right, as you can see, our very own Al Reynolds is part of this docuseries. What are your thoughts on this new docuseries? And do you think this will further tarnish Jesse's career. Alice, let's go to you first since you were part of this. Uh, listen, I got to thank you, Claudia, for putting me on this show because they saw me on this show talking about Jesse Smollett. And that's how I got tapped to do this docuseries. Listen, everybody, I thought this docuseries was the best combination of sex, power, deception, politics, money, and greed with the undercurrent of police corruption and black female leadership. You have got to see how, ta how tactfully tailored this series was was to unveil the why. And I talk about it on the docuseries is that we want to know the why, right? Because I don't think this is going to change his career, Claudia, because I don't think there are too many people out here who felt like something just wasn't right. But I promise you, you have to see the truth coming out of the voice of the Nigerian brothers, Bola and Ola. Okay. Uh, Q, what do you think about this? You know, looking at that little clip that we just saw, I really do have mixed reviews, but I'm really leaning towards I don't like it. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not interested in watching it whatsoever because to Al's point, my mind is already made up. I don't need to get lost in the minutia of it. The Negro did it. Um, but there's a part of me that says he's already suffered a lot from it. He's already, you know, reaped whatever legal consequences from it. Um, why kick him when he's down and go make a whole documentary further cementing the fact that he lied or whatever the case may be? It just feels like there's a bigger, you know, power or engine in the background that's just trying to put the final nail in his coffin. And that's the part of all of this that I don't like. I just wish we all, he got in trouble. He found got found guilty in the court of law. You know what I'm saying? Let's move on. So, Q, that is what the documentary actually addresses, exactly what you said. Why haven't we moved on? And what you're going to learn in the documentary is that each time that everyone was ready to turn the page and move on, it was him and his nonsense that got him into more trouble, which led to more legal issues. Please, 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 on your most bored day, you've got to watch this documentary. I'm going to say the part that I don't like. I'm going to definitely check it out. I don't like those two brothers. It's like, you know, y'all were down with it. Some say there was some allegedly some kind of physical relationship with one of them or both of them or all of them, right? Mm -hmm. And y'all took the money, so y'all was with it. And then when he got caught, y'all was like, oh, we wasn't with him. Y'all were just as guilty as him. Y'all agreed to do it. Y'all did the crime. Y'all were part of this hoax. Y'all part of the crime. And I feel like them, they're, they're like, you know, they're selfishly, of course, doing a whole PR thing. Like, we're, 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 like they're snitches. Yeah. When you do a crime with someone and then you run your mouth about it, that's technically what a snitch is. And now you're not any better than them. These two brothers that you're not any better than Jesse. You were definitely down with it. And now you're not. And I think they think that they're making themselves look better by telling now. Mm -hmm. Nah, mm -hmm. you're just as guilty, sir. I promise and you. And remember, their ambition was to always be on television. So, yeah, I mean, I, it's but feeding I, I the ego. Like Claudia, I feel like after you see this, you're going to have a different perception of the brothers. I promise you. And it's not just because I'm on this docuseries. It's just <laughs> that they open your eyes to so much stuff. Like they really thought that he was only going to record this scene, this scene for his social media is what they said. They had no clue that he was going to turn all of this footage over to the police, which led to this national outrage, which then led to this heat, you know, black community against Chicago. Oh, it was just 
just watch it, please. Everybody just watch it. I promise you, you're going to have a different perspective on a lot of things that make you feel uncomfortable. Snitches get stitches. No, I promise. I promise you. I promise you. Just look, just watch it. Okay. We will definitely check it out.